Hi guys, my name's Marissa, also known as Homemaking with Marissa. Today's video is going to be a full day of cooking from scratch. I love cooking from scratch and coming up with new recipes for my family. Today I will be showing a breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipe all made from ingredients that you probably just have laying around the house. I'm starting in the morning by making a breakfast scramble. I had leftover mushroom and bell pepper that I was going to saute up in a little bit of olive oil, but the vegetables in this don't matter. Any extra vegetables that you have will work great and taste fabulous in your omelet. I cracked in three eggs and divvied this up for the kids. I did top mine with a little bit of avocado because I had one extra in the refrigerator that was about to go bad. I season everything with salt and pepper and serve it up. If you like cheese, that would also be nice to add to this. Anything that you like with your eggs, hot sauce, salsa, eggs are a great way to use up the extra ingredients that you just have laying around that are about to go bad. For lunch, I am going to make flatbread sandwiches. I always keep self-rising flour on hand so that I can make these flatbreads if I'm in a hurry. I don't have a specific recipe of exactly how much flour, water, and oil I add to the bowl, but I just put a couple of spoonfuls of the flour, a splash of the oil, and some water until it comes together in a consistency that looks like a really thick pancake dough. I had added too much water, so I kept adding flour until I felt like the consistency looked right. You can see that it's starting to come together, but I am going to add a little bit more flour just to thicken this up before I start to form our flatbreads. To cook these flatbreads, I heated a small fry pan on a medium-low heat and sprayed it with some avocado oil. You could roll this dough out and form it into the perfect flat dough shape, however, I like mine a little bit more rustic and just pour the batter directly into the fry pan. I'll cook it for a few minutes on the first side before flipping it and allowing it to fully cook through on the other side. These flatbed breads can be topped with whatever you have laying around. If you have bacon, if you have lunch meat, if you have an assortment of different vegetables, it doesn't really matter what you top them with, I just use any excess ingredients. I had some Roma tomatoes, some iceberg lettuce, and some Asiago cheese that was in the refrigerator that needed to be used up. I just went ahead and sliced up the tomatoes, grated the cheese right on top of the flatbread while it was cooking in the fry pan to allow it to melt slightly. These flatbreads will look like pancakes when they come out, but are more savory. I will just go ahead and top them with whatever sandwich toppings I have. This is something that my kids really enjoy, and occasionally I will make flatbread pizzas for them for lunch as well. Just put some marinara sauce, and instead of the Asadiago cheese, I will top it with mozzarella, and then pepperoni, diced chicken, whatever extra ingredients we have. On this day, I did top the tomatoes with a little bit of salt and pepper, and this made such a quick and satisfying lunch.
for dinner, I am making homemade bread. I have showed multiple times on my channel that I like making bread from scratch as well as rolls from scratch from my family and I always make them using a bread machine. I combine the ingredients, stick them into the bread machine, and it does all of the work for you. It will mix the ingredients, it will make sure that the dough rises, and it will bake the bread all inside of this machine with very minimal work from you. Just put the ingredients in, set it to the baking bread setting, and you are good to go. I saved the turkey bones from Thanksgiving knowing that I intended to make a bone broth and soup with them later. I use my instant pot to make my bone broth. I just stick the bones in, water, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and some white sea salt. This will cook for 30 minutes on manual pressure and will make all of the broth for you to make a really tasty soup. For my soup, I take any vegetables that I have left over. On this particular evening, I had some extra potatoes, I had onions, I had garlic, I had celery, I had parsley, I had carrots, and a little bit of lemon. I could have added additional mushrooms that I had left over from breakfast, I could have added green beans. The, the vegetables here are not specific, it's just whatever you like and whatever you have laying around. I have added squash to this before. The ingredients for these recipes aren't what matter. It's about just going through your kitchen, using what you have to create a really hearty and wholesome meal for your family. Prepping the vegetables is probably the most challenging part of this entire recipe. It is a little bit time consuming. I love listening to music while I'm cooking and just zoning out and focusing on the task without much distraction. Normally at this point in the day, my family is ready for a little bit of downtime and my kids are pretty occupied with just playing outside or playing in their room. So I'm able to just spend this time kind of reflecting on the day and spending a moment by myself. I love making soup because you can really put anything that you have left over into it. I had some leftover turkey from Thanksgiving, so I'm just going to roughly chop that up. You can see that I have diced an assortment of different vegetables here. I have carrots, I have onion, potatoes, celery, garlic, parsley, lemon, and our turkey. All of this will go into the pot and begin to be sauteed. But first I'm going to go ahead and remove the broth and strain that off. I put it into a large bowl and will later ladle that into the vegetables to make a soup.
I love adding lemon to turkey noodle soup or to any sort of chicken soup. I think that the citrus gives it a really nice flavor. I also like to saute all of my vegetables before putting in any broth. I just dump all the vegetables into a Dutch oven and let them start to caramelize before ladling in the broth. I allow this soup to simmer for at least 30 minutes to make sure that all of the vegetables have an opportunity to soften and because I was making this a turkey soup with turkey that had already been cooked, I didn't want the turkey to dry out too much so I waited until the last 10 minutes to add that and the parsley to our Dutch oven. I stirred it up and just left it in there long enough to reheat the turkey and allow the parsley to wilt just slightly. Homemade bread is so easy to make. You can see all I did was just dump the ingredients in and the bread machine literally did all the work for me. This was a gigantic loaf of bread. It's really hot, so it's hard to get out of the pot. It is a perfectly cooked golden brown loaf of bread that my family really enjoyed. My kids love when I make homemade bread and it also really provides such a nice smell to the house for the rest of the day. I will link a comparable bread machine to what I am using in the description box down below. If you don't have a bread machine, it is a little bit of an investment, but I use mine multiple times every week. Here is what the soup and the bread looked like once it was all plated up. Cooking from scratch does not have to be complicated, it is a really simple, easy way to provide good nutrients to your family. And now for the bloopers. hope you found this video helpful if you haven't done so already you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face on the left hand side of your screen i also have some additional videos for you to watch on the right hand side of your screen i hope you're all staying happy and healthy bye